There's a jellyfish that spends its life at the surface of the ocean, catching wind with a tiny sail on its back, surfing here and there while snatching up food with its frilly tentacles. It's called the By the Wind Sailor Jellyfish, or Valella Valella, and its life is a peaceful one. Until, of course, the winds change, and millions of the jellies end up dead on the sand. Every year, tens of thousands of Valella jellies end up stranded on beaches around the world, where they shrivel up into what one biologist calls a crunchy carpet of purple carcasses. These mass die-offs are a natural result of seasonal wind changes, but sometimes the death toll is remarkably higher than average. Every few years, it seems, a colony of more than one million jellies washes up somewhere, blanketing the sand for miles in every direction. Why are some strandings so much larger than the norm? Scientists tried to answer that question in a new study published in the journal Marine Ecology Progress Series. The researchers scoured more than 20 years of Valella sightings reported by citizen scientists all along the Pacific Northwest coast. From more than 500 reports, they found a clear pattern. The biggest jellyfish die-offs occurred during the hottest years, thanks in part to a gargantuan marine heat wave known as the Blob. This heat wave occurred between the years 2013 and 2016, warming the surface of the Pacific Ocean to extremes never recorded before. In general, the blob was bad news for marine life, resulting in the mass deaths of sea lions, birds, whales, and other creatures. But for Valella jellyfish, it meant longer spawning seasons for their favorite food sources. The blob helped Valella colonies boom at sea. And then, when the spring winds came, those thriving colonies washed onto the shore and died in record numbers. The blob is gone for now, but we may see this trend continue as global warming drives up temperatures on land and at sea. <laughs>